Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today we will show you guys how to remove and replace the door computer, rear door computer on Volkswagen SUV right here, Turek 2005-2010 generation. So if your door is not working, like windows don't go up and down, speaker doesn't work, uh, power unlock button, most likely uh, it's possible that you have a bad fuse or a bad computer. Uh, we'll demonstrate guys how to remove the computer, it's not very complicated, so stay with us to see how to do that in case you need to. Alright guys, so now we'll need to remove the door panel, what we need to do here, okay, we have a, we have a T25 Torx, okay, and we have, we have two screws that we need to remove on the bottom of the door panel. One is out, now the second one there. Okay, perfect. Next, there is a few more hidden ones under that cover right there. You just have to be careful not to damage it. Okay, like that. So we need to get a Torx 30 now and we have two screws to remove under that cover there. Okay, one is loose. This one looks like it's skipping a little bit. We need to make sure that it gets it right. Okay, perfect, it's loose now. Then you need to get a prank too, or get it with your fingers, okay. And you'll be able to pull the door panel out. There is clips holding it, guys. We'll show you where exactly they are. Uh, once we remove it so you know you know where to expect some pressure okay so it comes out you can see and once you pull the clips out you need to go up so you can come out of the groove it could be stuck if it hasn't been removed for a while next you need to disconnect the uh, the cable Okay, for unlocking and lock uh, for the door to open the door. So let me show you quick how to do that now. Okay, we'll need to pull those things out, the white things. We need to spread them out and pull the cable out. Okay, like that. Next, we have all the wires there. Just squeeze those on the sides and disconnect it. We have one more. That's been connected on the door computer here. So it's towards the back side. There is a notch that you press in and pull out. Okay, this one there. And you can see where all the clips are now. Even a few of them are on the door now. This one here and here. So we need to remove them. We have one there and three more on the other side. Alright okay guys, so next we'll need a Torx 25. We have only three screws that we'll need to remove. You will need to disconnect the battery at least one hour before we do any repairs like that. Okay, then we'll need to disconnect all the wires by pressing in here and pull them out. Okay, like that. Next we'll need to separate the door computer from the window motor. So, you need to spread all six tabs. Okay, so there is three tabs on this side. Okay, and there is three more on the other side now, right here. Then, all we have to do you just pull it up, like that, straight up. Gotta make sure that you tape the window or you hold it because the window motor will not be holding it in place now. Alright okay guys, so this is the door computer right here, the door module, so if you need to remove it, that's how you do it guys. You put everything together in reverse order, we took it apart. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.